Good evening, Nick. You're looking very well tonight. Oh, that's very kind of you, Nick. You look great, too. How is this possible? I'm looking at two identical Nick Cages. Well, Seth, I can explain if you just calm down! As everyone knows, my dream as an actor is to appear in every film ever released. However, until now, I've only been able to muster a measly 90%. But fortunately, science has prevailed. And I'm proud to announce that my cloning experiment has finally come to fruition. The time has come for us to ride on to our next adventure. What is that? We're gonna have a three-way with the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Please welcome back Kate McKinnon as me. All right. Oh! Okay. That's a good stretch. Yeah. All right. It's time to say goodbye now. Be kind to one another, please. Adios. Arrivederci. Avocados. I'm vegan. I'm just kidding. I'm Alan. You know, dude, it is a little weird that you're talking to my dog. I don't think I need a drag queen to define normal behavior. <laughs> but I will say this. The look is flawless. Whatever. Ooh. Work in the attitude. Okay, you're good. I've had a lot of practice. Hey, hey, hey. You're not that great, Mr. Sister. I do a better share than you. You think so? Actually, it's... You think so? Ho! Oh. Are you kidding me with this? Okay, the hand is perfect, but it's more... Are you kidding me with this? Ho! Oh. <laughs> Snap out of it. I've seen you online <laughs> imitating me. Queen Latifah uh -huh. used to have me do it all. I used to Is only do right? it for her. Whenever we worked together, I did it for her one time, and she'd be like, do Angela. Do Angela. <laughs> you were lie. And you were cheap. And I don't want you. I don't, I don't want, want you. you. I, don't I don't want, want you, you no, no more. more. Yeah! <laughs> and that line was improvised. <laughs> Now let's get into it. You well, know? Well, well, it's okay. It's okay. People just do impressions of you, don't they? Very the... rarely. Am I in your camera? Can I have the cards? I need the cards. Okay. <laughs> you never know all the cards. There's no old... card. <laughs> so, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, so, so you, <laughs> so you, you've never been on the show. Is Julianne still here? Because I want her to hear this. I'll do this in front of you. Okay. Um, meeting you for the first time. I do a thing. Is this Julianne more laughing or crying? <laughs> Yeah, let's do it together. Oh my yeah. god, I can't believe this. Yeah, do it together. Okay, wait. Here we go. A woman answered. Another woman already? What did you say to her? I did a fake survey. You did the fake survey? I know. I'm not over it. And now I'm wearing this. What is the deal with my life? Are you imitating me? No! This is what I sound like when I cry! I think I'm a little insulted. You're insulted! I'm crying! We do impressions of you now and then on the show. I think I have, hands down, I've found the guy who does the worst impression of you. Our drummer, Questlove. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I used to do, I do you from, from Cape Fear, but I do you just laughing. I have a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are! Not bad? That's pretty good. You do an impersonation of me at all? <laughs> Vanessa, what are you doing? What? Can you just drop that for a second? Yeah. Vanessa, come on. Oh, sorry, Jen. You know, Friends was like five million and five years ago, so I, I, I think we've just got to move on. I thought, because I, I do this great bit as Rachel. <laughs> is it a great bit, though? I mean, <laughs> kind of just sounds like all you're doing is like, what? Oh, what? Me? What? Yes. What? Is it like this? No. What? Whoa! No. Don't do that! Oh, babes! What? Oh. Oh. Who haven't we covered? Let's see. Um, do you I, do me? Do I do you? Yes. Well, I mean, you aren't that easy to do. Then we'll skip it. I just wanted to know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> When people do impressions of you, is it like sort of nails on a chalkboard or do you kind of enjoy it? No, I, I kind of enjoy it, especially if they do it well. I only ask! <laughs> Tom Hiddleston does impressions of you. You do impressions of lots of people. I know whole pages of heat. There's a scene in the middle of the film, which you'll be familiar with. You were there. <laughs> <laughs> the one person you don't need to explain it to. <laughs> and it takes place at a restaurant in LA. Al Pacino says this. So, <laughs> we're sitting here like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, you do what you do, I do what I gotta do. If I'm there, 
and I gotta put you away, I won't like it. But if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, brother, you are going down. <laughs> and then Michael Mann cuts back to the esteemed gentleman at the end of the sofa. <laughs> what if you do got me boxed in? I'm not gonna put you down. We've been face to face. Yeah, but I will not hesitate. Not for a second. That's my... <laughs> That was my favorite scene. In the was movie. it your favorite scene? Yeah. It's a Still. Great... Yeah. <laughs> One of our most memorable and poignant moments together was at the end of filming Plenty. And we were on our way home from Tunisia on a crowded flight, and we were laughing at somebody that you and I know who we were laughing at. We're not mentioning any names here. There's always one actor you hate on a production. Oh, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. I'm not saying who it was, ever. We were bitching about him, and so you guess what happens? An engine blew on the plane, and the other one cut out, and we began to descend, and the lights went off, and a young air stewardess started crying, which is never a good sign. <laughs> and after the initial screams, we both went very pale, and we held hands, and we became reflective. You said, oh, damn, that, that woman who's writing that horrible, unauthorized biography on me will have a terrific ending, Peanut. <laughs> and I thought, oh, God, I'm definitely gonna get second billing here, Trace. <laughs> We're so happy to have Cousin Adam with us this year but watch what you say around him because you might end up in one of his movies what yeah i don't use you guys for material well well now i, I don't know about that because uh, now i saw a movie where you played someone that looked just like me there and uh, I, I see that big on the big old screen and i, I said i said hey, hey that, that's me up there now i promise you bobby boucher is not based on you i i know that dear. I, I was talking about the the, the big the big big daddy movie why don't you shut up how you doing how you doing boy? And every day you all every day, but the doctor says it's nothing to worry about. Oh, good. Well, that's yeah. a relief. Someone gave me this thing. It's a transcript from a deposition that Diane gave. I've changed the names and all that, so don't worry. Here is Diane being deposed, the attorney. And are you familiar with Kay Gerber at BPA? Diane. So is she somebody? I don't know. She might have been. Question. Well, she's obviously somebody. Yes, I know. I mean, I don't know if she was like the person we talked to all the time, which I never did anyway. I don't know. Obviously, she must be somebody if you brought her name up. What does she do? The question is, do you remember her? If you don't, that's fine. Do you remember her? Well, I feel bad, Kay. Wherever you are, I don't remember you. Question. Do you know a name Maggie Jones Borland? Does that ring a bell? Answer. Well, I think I remember Maggie because I think she was cute. Okay, so that means Kay wasn't cute. Kay was attractive, I'm sure. I don't know. I can't remember Kay. But Maggie, I think, was very thin or something. There were some distinguishing features she had. What about Menno Popper? Does that, whoa, that's a great name. Menno Popper. I remember that name. Do you know if she had anything to do with BPA? Well, I'm assuming she did. Menno Popper, I mean, come on. Who do you remember meeting? Here's what I remember. Brad Johnson had a stuffed animal like the size of a human being in his office, and there would be a bunch of women in the room. I'm telling you, I was just overwhelmed by all these people and thinking, get me out of here. This is too weird. And that's all I have of Diane being deposed. <laughs>